time it is. It's time for a video. Let's go. Hello, everyone. It is I, Commander Devin Lionheart, and I am here for all you fabulous individuals. Now, uh, without further ado, today's a very special reaction video. Last time I did one of these, it was quite a while back ago. This is a video literally done by Johnny Flash. The video is called Megatron's Origin Stories. Now, uh, for those who don't know you little baby boobops, Megatron is the leader of the Decepticons, basically the bad guys. Oh no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, in this video, he's answering your questions. Maybe one of these days I'll do one of those videos, but until then, I don't think I'm going to do one because, like, I've tried to do a couple of live streams of it, always fail. Well, despite all this, uh, this is Megatron's, like, overall Q&A session. So, without further ado, let's see what the Lord Megatron has to say to us lonely mortals. Let's begin in a three, a two, a one. And I will be giving my own feedback on certain questions due to uh, the way reaction videos are being attacked. Let's go. Well, well, if it isn't the petty insects of Earth, my name is Megatron. And today, I will be answering your disgusting questions. Disgusting questions. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> No desire to answer them at all. Oh, really? Let's get this over with. First question. All right. Why do you keep forgiving Starscream, even when you know he'll try to kill you again? It's amusing. It's quite simple, really. Keeping him around is almost therapeutic for me. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see Being that. The leader of the Decepticons comes with a lot of stress and responsibilities. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to punch the crap out of everyone. I know that's not a very effective way to release. I mean, of. Uh, I keep him around. Let him play his games while I get the play. It's it's a good way to get out of aggression, but it's also a bad way. He's you need to find more of a uh, <laughs> less lively target. Just my thoughts. On the rare specimen that is Starscream. I mean, Starscream is a baby. If he were gone, I would be. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess you would. On someone else, but it wouldn't be the same. Hmm. I, uh, keep this a secret. He must not know. Yeah. Okay, though, sure. Starscream is totally into it. <laughs> have you ever thought of making Soundwave your second in command? He's way more qualified than Starscream. Um. Oh, yes, Soundwave. I mean, he is loyal. He is, uh by my side since the very beginning. Uh, he is a huge so simp for Megatron and his cause, but he's... That he is. Without that, there is no communications. Thank you. Thank you for making my point. It makes sense. Trust me. There's no one else that can do the job but him. Oh, Starscream can do the job too if I hit him hard enough, but I can't take that <laughs> chance. You ever think that maybe you don't give Soundwave the praise he deserves? Soundwave is just Soundwave. True that. He's good at his job, so what's the point? You know it. I know it. He knows it. Shut up. <laughs> the picks, Lord Megatron. Hand them over. What? Never. You'll never get them from me. See reflector after the show if you uh, want them. It's an honor to be asking you this question, Ooh. Megatron. But what would you do? Ah, uh, simping up the Megatron. You. If I came face to face with another Megatron, Ooh. I would probably take him out for a pint. Oh yeah. Ask him how things are in his universe. <laughs> scheme some plans with him, and then finally, I would kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I see that. I can see that. There is a universe, ITW, where you're joined to be Autobots and denounced the Decepticons. It's happened on several occasions. That Megatron is an imposter. 
and I refuse to be associated with him. <laughs> I believe everything you read. A real Megatron would rather die than lower him. Yeah, that's true. Autobot. Have you ever eaten a human before? No, I haven't. I don't want to catch any viruses or plagues or anything that's in style at the moment. <laughs> um, do you know how to say Nymono Ultra Microscopic Nymono Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcanic Nymono Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcanic Odiosis? Okay. Yes. Is that even a word? How entertaining do you find Starscream suffering? 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yes! <laughs> Especially when he gets his butt handed to him if one of his schemes fails. What would you do once you win the war? When this war is won, hmm. it will be. I plan to subject the entire planet to my Oh. Uh, people is that is that so? World because injustice and corruption will always follow. Yeah, makes Just sense. Look at America. Jesus Christ. The only person you can trust is <sighs> I beg to differ on that. We've seen you as a handgun, a tank, a jet, a truck, a helicopter, and a dinosaur. What alternative mode can we expect from you next? A dinosaur. No, wait, no, we already had that one. Okay, hold on, I'm positive. So, um, what alternative? There's been the handgun, a uh, Walter uh, PPK, a uh, uh, Walter PPK uh, German handgun, tank, several tanks, a jet, uh, yes, truck. I mean, I guess if you count the movies, uh, helicopter, Transformers animated, and the latest Transformers show, uh, dinosaur, Beast Wars, and I guess the uh, animated cartoons, if you count those as well. So, mm -hmm. not bad. But I. You know, it. What alternate mode could I see Megatron transforming into? Not a battleship, but he has done a spaceship, or technically an alien jet. Um, hmm. Wow, this is a toughie. Um, Megatron's obviously into like the uh, heavy weapons, so. Uh, um. If I may. Now he's also been dragon, so that's out of the that's out of it because like Beast Wars, obviously. Uh, I can see Megatron now theoretically, possibly, maybe if they went the weapon route again. Um, I wouldn't say minigun because that'd be stupid. Uh, I. Laser gun is too predictable. If anything, uh, well, maybe a giant rocket launcher for like the Decepticons to use, or if I may go a different route, I'm possibly thinking. A giant anti-aircraft cannon. Because I think that would be right up Megatron's alley. I know that that's, uh, what's his name? Um, Galvatron's thing, but his is more like a space satellite laser deal thingy. But, um, anti-aircraft cannon. Tell me what y'all think he would go for. A giant rocket launcher or anti-aircraft cannon? Or something like that. Give me your thoughts in the comments of what do you think Lord Megatron next transformation may be. I doubt it's going to be a battleship. It could be a spaceship or an anti-aircraft, an anti-aircraft uh, cannon, or even a rocket launcher, because I think those would go right up his alley. Let's continue on with the video. I don't know, man. You'll just have to wait and see. Megatron, have you ever wondered what your own weapon feels like when you fire it at yourself? Joke's on you, I'm invulnerable to my own- That makes sense. 
Why do you want to destroy Cybertron when that's what you're literally standing on? Yeah. Soul? Destroy? I don't want to destroy Cybertron. Uh, you've done it on several occasions, my dude. You're responsible for its death. Optimus Prime is responsible for its resurrection. Not that you don't deserve it, of course. For the love of Cybertron, how do y'all reproduce? <laughs> it, it, it well, just, so uh, it. Reproduction all depends on which continuity. You're Thank on. you. Some timelines don't even have reproduction. And sometimes it's from the planet, sometimes it's from protoforms. Heck, sometimes they're just made from scrap. Johnny Verse. Reproduction happens. Oh boy. Two individuals who love each other. Okay. Very, very much. Okay. Come together with mm -hmm. romantic intentions. Okay. Okay. And f <laughs> that is where babies come from. Hey, Megs. I hope it's okay to call you that. No, it is not. I <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> I find rather interesting. If so, are you able to give us an example? Please and thank you. Ahem. Roses are red, violets are blue. I have five fingers. The middle one is for you. What? Dear Megatron. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll give Megatron a freebie on this one, a better one. Roses are red, violets are blue. Ooh, I have a hand cannon, and it's aimed at you. <laughs> that one would have been better. Oh man, some people should hire me for like script writing. <laughs> I can come up with the best jokes. <laughs> All right, let's get. Let's continue. Oh my god, I'm laughing so hard that I'm coughing. Oh, oh well. Oh, let's continue. Let's continue. Jeez, why does the thing need calibration again? All right, let's go. Okay. Is that all you've got? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I tweeted that. I mean, I put that out on my Facebook back in the day. My life at my locals. I was Megatron. Everyone else was, like, at my local Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. These days, it's in reverse. Everyone else is Megatron. I'm Metroplex. <laughs> It's because Konami doesn't know how to, like, properly fix the game. Good lord. They even can't have it come out with a new summoning mechanic yet. Instead, they came up with a sad excuse of a new arc type. Well, monster type. And it's not even that good. Jesus Christ on Sabatron. Konami, what are you doing? Nothing. It was like a massage. <laughs> if you call that a massage. Starscream. Right? <laughs> Hail Megatron. Very good. Is there anything that you like about planet Earth? Uh, yes. Love you. The feeling is a bit true, I'm afraid. No, it is not. Earth is messy, unnatural, and full of disorder. It would be best to reformat it to its fullest potential as a mechanical home world. Uh, and no. Are your natural disasters, such as forest fires, volcanic eruptions, and earthquakes to name a few. Watching you insects die is quite a spectacle, if you ask me. Do you remember? Okay, um, I want to point out something else. Megatron would simply loves about Earth, other than like the natural disasters and us offing each other. I mean, in the G1 cartoon, he modeled himself out after a Walter PPEK38. So he's obviously a, um, Cybertronian that loves his guns or uh, technically weapons. Um, if he would, I bet he would just absolutely love collecting every known weapon 
known to mankind, and just keeping him to it for himself. Because, like, he's a weapon guy. He likes weapons. He likes violence. He likes to cause trouble. He's a weapon guy. That one Megatron toy that had a giant blaster on his crotch. Was that just a phase or something? Oh. Yes, I remember it. And I was proud of it. <laughs> and don't look it up. I see you. Yeah. Megatron. What can I do to be your sweetheart? Uh, one last thing. Uh, pause it. So, like, we all know who's looked at that art. We have all know in the VTubing community who would dare even think of look at Megatron with a gun penis. And if you think it's Nux Taku, you'd be wrong. If you think it's God dang, what was her name? Zentrea? I don't think she's a Transformers girl. Um, let alone a gun girl. But if I may, and there is one that is extravagant enough to look up a uh, robo penis on a Cybertronian, <laughs> she knows enough Rule 34 as it is. I would have to give that up to Project Melody. Project Melody, definitely, she would definitely look up Lord Megatron as with the robo penis. <laughs> Next. At this point, I have no room for sweethearts in my life. Yeah. Romance is for pansies who have no confidence in themselves and as a result rely on others for comfort and affirmation. Truly pathetic. Yeah, I would agree on that with Megatron's character. No way he would settle down with, like, a female Decepticon or Autobot. I would like to f settle down with a lady, if you know what I mean. Me and Rachel, we had to break up because, uh, let's just say our relationship got a little bit too masochistic and expensive. Seriously, the amount of repairs we had to do on the ships, co the ship constantly... The repair bay, the tools, paying for the staffs like medical bills when they got hurt because of her shenanigans. Honestly, I'm very ticklish. And with the high defense I got, even with a whip with sharp, like, um, you know, Bayesian spikes, that which Bayesian is one of the strongest metals that Seed's got. Uh, yeah, you bet, um... Or you bet that tickled. Now, it didn't hurt, but it tickled. It tickled. Just because my defense is so broken. I mean, when you break the level limiter, you can only imagine how broken your defenses will be. I mean, you constantly level up. There's no end to how strong you can become. Your strength becomes immeasurable. Your defense, your speed, your luck, your spirit, your magic, your magic attack, magic defense. Y'all get what I'm saying. I'm beating a dead horse at this point. Uh, next. The only reason I would ever make room for a lady is oh. if there is something to be gained from such knowledge. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Other than that, not a chance. <laughs> Sorry to get your hopes up, sweetie. For Megatron, obviously. What was your life like before becoming the leader of the Deception? Oh, Pits of Chaos story. Decepticons, not that hard. Before I was leader of the Decepticons, I was a simple miner. Oh, he was a miner. Oh, that's right. Young, but distraught. I saw firsthand the injustice. I mean, was present in our makes society. sense. Reserves of Energon were divided. He evil. also fought in the Pits of Chaos. Their power as a gladiator. Corrupt, and I knew. Mm. I used my experience in combat to become a okay. gladiator and quickly made a name for okay. myself. Thanks to my superiority, I had a platform to speak out. All right. I struggled hard to create change. Nice. But even with all that fame, my voice was not heard. And then <sighs> one day, the people I understand it, brother. Spark were murdered. All in the name of justice. I mean, false justice. Enough was enough. And so, I took a stand. And <sighs> you took the wrong stand. You took the wrong stand. 
that you should have took you should have took a different path but the decepticons are no better than the enemy to that i say no all hmm. this death and chaos is because of the so-called autobots it's they both sides really the only language now but he's too blind to see the truth <sighs> Okay, so a little tip, kids and adults, when it comes to uh, war in general. There is no villains, there is no heroes, there is no good guys, there is no bad guys. There is no antagonist, there is no antagonist. There's just war. War is hell. And what do I mean by that? No matter what, both sides lose. Both sides lose in a war. Sure, maybe after the war, there's a huge celebration, a bit of peace, but that never lasts too long. A war is inevitable, and so is pain. Oh, well, great. Now I'm in a bad mood. You and me both, pal. Final question, and I'm done. Nice job. Yeah. Describe how your friendship with Prime was like. Oh! Prime and I were good hmm. friends. Nice. He understood my frustrations with society. Nice. He worked closely with me to make a better future. Uh, he was, dare I say it, my brother. Nice. But when we spoke to the High Council, oh, this story made me look like mm. a fool. And when my friends were killed, he chose not to be at my side. I mean, Prime chose the right side, you chose the wrong side. But in war, like I said before, there is no right and wrong, there's just war and loss. Now, we are enemies. Am I done reading those stupid questions? Yeah. No? What the hell do you mean, no? What? I don't like how they're making me feel uncomfortable. That makes me feel angry. <laughs> I'm Lord Megatron, and I have better things to do than talk to lesser beings. <laughs> Who's Megatron? How come I can't spell the Decepticons? Why is yeah. something happening to Starscream? Why is he so e Why do you hate him so much? Where is Starscream anyways? I need him. This rage isn't going to dispense itself. <laughs> <laughs> He blew up the camera. So, um, yeah, don't forget to support, you know, good old Johnny Flash. Don't forget to support me. Please like, subscribe, comment in this, and comment how you feel oh, about what would Megatron's next transformation would be that hasn't been done yet. I would love to hear y'all's feedback. Maybe I'll make a video or make a few honorable mentions of the ideas I actually like during the next reactionary video of Johnny Flash's series of, well, Sabatronians ans answer your questions. I think next time we'll go back to the Autobot side. And I think I will choose. The Jazz Meister. Because everybody loves jazz, am I right? Rather be the music, the car, the Autobot. Heck, all three. I mean, everybody loves jazz. So uh, I've been Commander Devin Lionheart. Like I said before, don't forget to overall support me and Johnny Flash. Give him likes, subscribes, follows, and do the same for me. Don't forget to support me on all my social media. I have an Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I will not call it the other thing. And I even got that of... Oh, what was the other one? Uh, You know what? Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll put it in the uh, 
you know, overall playing down there. This recording's done. Hey, uh, why are y'all still here? The, the the show's over. The video's the video's done. Oh wait a minute, you want more? Well, why don't you click up to the upper right here and like see one of my live streams, or maybe the lower left. Check one of the videos over there, or maybe just subscribe. You know, I appreciate it. The show's over. Go grab a snack. <laughs>